to 10 points for St. Louis, the most points they've scored in a quarter in this series since they opened up with 12 in game one. And another note for you, statistics freaks, nobody in this series has overcome a third quarter deficit as we have a scrum in the corner. Zoran Karen to Deb Reeves, Cowie in there. Who else is in on it? Ted Heck coming to help out with Marinero. Oh, we saw Reeves up. Garage going. That's a trade off. St. Louis wouldn't mind him and Reeves for Garage. You know, and Garage is the one that's being the aggressor there. I'm surprised Deb, Deb Reeves didn't retaliate. They're going to have one thrown out for the other. That would be a big advantage for St. Louis to lose Reeves and Garage to lose Marin. Garage. Or Cleveland, excuse me, to lose Garage. Here's how the play started. And you saw Tommy Tanner come in there with a shot, and then Klein retaliates, and then Tanner with the elbow. Zorin, who has been hampered and hassled by Dev Reeves all game, saw that as an opening, and I he took advantage of it. I sense a little frustration on uh, Zorin's part. He's got to be careful here. He's their main player, along with Hector Marinero. You know, at the beginning of the game, we talked about Duran being on Carrick. Well, most of the marking of Carrick has gone to Dev Reeves, and he's done a super job. It's surprising because Daryl told me before the game it'd be himself and Chris Kenny. And as you mentioned, it's been Dev, Dev Reeves who's done a great job on Carrick here tonight. If I'm not mistaken, the points that Carrick has gotten in this game has come off dead ball situations. I don't think that Reeves... Let's listen in to the rest. It's the right 17 deal. Interesting thing in sports is a lot of times what makes a player so great is all. 